In this video, we take a brief look at how to get input from the user and how to display output to the screen. When you're learning to program, one of the first things you learn is how to gather input from the user and the simplest form is typically from the keyboard. And then secondly, how to output the results of calculations and processes typically to the screen. In the exam, AQA will use some pseudocode to represent basic input and output, and we can see that below. So they use the word output followed by a prompt, and this will be shown on the screen. The next line, then we see the pseudocode user input, meaning that whatever the user types at the keyboard is then stored or assigned, and that's the left hand pointing arrow, into the variable first name. We then have another output prompt, please enter your surname, and again, another input line, gathering some input from the keyboard, and this time storing it in the variable surname. Finally, we have one last output line of pseudocode, and it outputs the string your name is, and it joins that on or concatenates that to the contents of the string first name, concatenates that to a blank space, and concatenates that to the surname. Now, in your examination, you'll be required to write in high level language code. And depending on the language you've been learning, AQA support exam answers in either Python, Visual Basic or C Sharp. So we're just going to run through um, some various input and output lines of code in the appropriate language that you've been learning. So the first one shown here for all three language simply waits for the user to press enter. This is typically more useful. So it's the idea that we can provide a prompt and the user can enter some contents and those contents then get stored or assigned into a variable on the left of your choice. Notice that in Python, we can actually add the prompt, what is your name? Whereas with Visual Basic and C Sharp, we would have to have a separate output line first to display that prompt to the screen before using the read line command. You also have the option simply to print out a blank line to the screen. And you can see the three different ways of doing that in the languages here. We've got a few other variations here. So the first one simply prints out whatever is written between the double quotes. And obviously that's a string. You could also supply a variable in the brackets here after the print or write line command. And that will print out the contents of that variable. And of course, we can tie literal strings and variables together. So the last line in each example here shows how we're printing out the string hello world. And then we're concatenating that to the contents of a variable. One last thing to uh, note here is about formatting your output. This is slightly beyond the specification, but it's worth knowing. So if we did the calculation seven divided by three, and we stored the result or assigned the result to the variable A, now assuming A is a real or float, so a data type which can hold a decimal point, then the answer of this calculation is 2.33333 reoccurring. Not a particularly useful output to the user. All the languages support some way of formatting the output. And you can see they're all fairly similar. When we add what are called format specifiers here, it then formats the output to a number of decimal places. All these examples are formatting the output to two decimal places. So now if you printed out A, you'd get 2.33.